And thousands of Cuban Americans converged on our nation's capital today to show support for freedom fighters in Cuba. The demonstrators marched in front of the White House and the Cuban embassy in Washington. They say Cuba's fight for freedom is being ignored by the Biden administration. From South Florida to Washington, D.C., the message is the same. Cubans deserve freedom after 62 years of communism. At a rally in Lafayette Square outside the White House, the crowd called on President Biden to do more about the crackdown on peaceful protesters in Cuba. They say sanctions imposed by the Biden administration last week are merely symbolic and will have no impact on the Cuban government. They want the U.S. to spearhead an international effort to pressure Cuba to allow democratic reforms on the island. Thank you for being here. This is how we change the direction of Cuba. We show up, we tell the White House what we want. We have demands. They work for us. Florida Senator Rick Scott called for the closing of the Cuban embassy in Washington. The Cuban embassy in D.C. needs to close today. The crowd marched to the Cuban embassy, which opened during the Obama administration, allowing the two countries to have diplomatic relations and solve bilateral disputes through diplomacy, something this crowd wants no part of while Cubans are being beaten and jailed. Every day that the brave people in Cuba rise up to speak out against communism, they are getting beat, they are getting shot, they are being abducted, they are being jailed by this regime. And as long as this president stays quiet while that happens, we're going to show up here every single day. Well, the protesters emphasize that Cubans are not asking for lifting of the U.S. embargo. They are asking for freedom. And stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of the fight for freedom in Cuba.